mom and dad and my little brother, it was just us four, close family. My dad was in the military before um, I was born, he retired. So just, just having a lot of structure and a lot of discipline growing up. We played every sport that you can think of, except soccer. And my parents always showed up, they always supported us in everything we did. So around middle school, I started lifting weights with my dad. You know, he, he was always wanting to exercise and things like that. And he, I don't know, he thought I was a personal trainer or something. But he just wanted to just see how far I could push myself. Well, we had a zero hour back in high school, early morning, before anyone else is there. We're working out, the whole team. And that just goes up to my head coach, Coach Argraves, and still in that and all of us, you know, just to get up, you know, bright and early, and, and I work the rest of the teams in the conference. After practices, I'm always out there catching with my receiver coach, or offensive coordinator, Coach Moore. I dropped a couple balls in high school, and I was always disappointed with myself, so he always stayed after with me, either throwing tennis balls to me, footballs, it didn't matter, you know, try to make me a better player, so I appreciate him for that. Well, my dad had gotten sick towards the end of my senior year. I offered just to stay home and, and help, you know, tend to my dad. Um, but my dad wasn't having that. He, he wanted me to get my education. He, did, he said I wasn't just gonna sit at home and do nothing with my life, so. He wanted me to go to school, and because of his GI Bill, I was able to go to Alabama for free and played intramural football for a semester and then decided to walk on in the spring and was playing ever since. They have like a, uh, a tryout at first, um, walking on. And after that, you know, next day is 6 a.m. workouts because walk-ons have to live early. First person I remember seeing is Amari Cooper. You know, I just seen his work ethic in the weight room when I automatically figured that I have to have the same kind of mentality if I'm gonna make it here, you know, uh, to be able to compete with some of these guys here. My dad, he, you know, he believed in me. He's the one who convinced me to walk on. I owed it to him, you know, just to keep pushing. I never quit anything in my life before, and I didn't want to start now. I just saw the way that he worked, you know, just trying to feed his kids, trying to feed his family. So just seeing that, you know, he didn't really say too much. He was more of a man of action. You know, you go out there and, and do what you have to do. You know, if you have a dream, go take it. You know, Coach Saban, he does a great job with the DBs. He's, he's in our meeting room every single day. You know, he makes sure that we have our defensive plan down before he gets to the rest of the team. He, he definitely spends a lot of time on us even out on the field, you know, he's always around us, you know, throwing balls sometimes, leading drills. He takes it personally. You know, hats off to him again for teaching me what I know now. He gave me my nickname, the technician, because I just paid attention to detail, just like he does. Guys telling me, I think you'd be able to start anywhere else. I don't know why you walked on here. You should be going somewhere else and playing. Uh, so that just kept motivating me throughout the years that I, was, I stayed at Bama. Um, until I got put on a scholarship and chose to shine and, and showcase my abilities. It's Alabama, you know, we have really many great players on our team, you know. I mess up one week, you know, they can put somebody else in vice versa, you know. Just trying to stay focused in, in what I have to do with my responsibilities. Not getting too big headed, just one game at a time. You know, we have a goal, and it was winning the national championship, and we accomplished it, so. After we won that, then I, I kind of looked back and was like, dang, it was a great season. Like, definitely with my journey that I've taken, I'm just blessed. Excellence does a great job, definitely. Um, we're just honing in what you already have and just making it that much better. You know, the trainers that we have here, Coach Barlow and Coach Nick, they do a great job. They love my mindset. You know, they're always asking me if I'm all right. I'm like, you don't have to ask me that because whatever you, whatever you do, I'm gonna do it too. The different training um, that we've done so far, you know, it takes a toll on your body, um, but they have a great recovery staff here. I expect the results, you know, immediately, um, but it takes time, gradual time, and that's what they stress a lot here. And, you know, I, I'm starting to see the results. I mean, this is a great place to train. Um, I'm glad that I'm here just to be able to take advantage of every opportunity that I can. The NFL is right there, you know, within our grabs, everyone that's training here. That's why I yell out when I motivate other guys, how bad do you want it? 